All right, we're gonna do some hinge variations. The first is RDL, super basic. Uh, a, a little bit tighter stance than you would with uh, squat movements, with your uh, feet directly under your hips in this case, toes point directly forward, anything. They need to subtle, a subtle internal rotation through this. Obviously and always constant and using good posture. Now the hinge is at the hip. So with a subtle bend in the knees, it is essentially forged in place, pivot at the hip, okay? okay? And you'll notice Dunn is doing a nice job. He's not uh, pulling his neck to kind of keep, to look forward. He sort of trusts where he is in space. His spine is relatively loosened up a little bit. There you go. Uh, relatively aligned throughout the movement. Stand, okay, a little faster up, down, hinge the hip. You'll feel some tension on the back side, the posterior chain in one place or other. Hopefully the hamstrings, perhaps the glutes, depending on what kind of work you've been doing. Quick up, okay, just give me like two or three reps real quick. Nice and easy, boom. Keep your posture, again, posture, keep going. Now, if he wants to, he can obviously add a load to this, okay? I would suggest something not too extreme. It won't be like a true barbell RDL, but some kind of load. You're exactly right. Hold it how you like. Go ahead. Okay. And, and pull. There you go. And actually, you just did a really nice job of finding what works for you. Back back. So you were trying to like a goblet spot position. There you go. Good. It's an RDL. Fine. Now, uh, single leg RDL. Same idea. We'll drop the load for the moment. Single leg RDL. Uh, your one foot, your balance, your foot's going to come more towards center, uh, essentially splitting the hips more or less. Go ahead, pivot, touch with your pivot the hip, using the back leg as a counterbalance, reach toward the toe with your opposite arm, and return. Move a little faster. Okay? Now you'll notice at the back end, keep going, we want to lead with the heel on the back end to really activate glue. What we don't want is what we call uh, a hockey stride which is uh, your toes sort of externally rotating like you're pushing ice away from yourself. It's a very natural thing to have happen. Go ahead, lead with your heel, touch with your opposite hand, keep a good posture throughout, that looks nice. So that's our basic one leg RDL. This too can be loaded if we want. Okay, just treat your backpack like a dumbbell, go ahead. Same idea, fantastic job. Now. We have one more version of this, we call it ankle prehab. All it means is you are gonna do four single leg RDLs on the same side. But watch this, you're gonna picture, go ahead and pick a leg, picture a box, picture a square, pause. Picture a square around your foot, get it out a little farther, a little square, okay? Touch one corner of the square and rise up. Go ahead and go down, touch another corner, okay? Now he's going to the back right, down, touch another corner, he's aiming back left. Okay, make sure that you're fully coordinated throughout the system, leaving the heel on the back side. Boom, nailed it. Usually what we do is two times through around the box, switch feet two times through around the box. So that's RDL, single leg RDL, and a movement we call ankle prehab. Again, notice the wobble, embrace the wobble. Okay, that is exactly what we're looking for. Good, to build both a neuromuscular connection and work on the stabilizers in the lower half. It's a great job.